Welcome back to the island. It's spinning around the world. And it is Wednesday, right, Stell? Uh huh. And Stell's back hanging out with me in the basement again today because we've just been sitting around the house and there's only Let's so many see. rooms. No? Doing work. Yeah, we've been doing lots of work. First school, that's right. Did you know that I get to be a teacher? Stella, have I been a pretty good teacher so far? Yes. Think so? Yeah. Good. I appreciate that. I feel like I've done okay. <laughs> no, I don't think I have. I used to always think that I wanted to be a teacher. Do you think I still want to be a teacher, Stella? Yes. Think so? All right, cool. Well, you want to be my Reading club teacher. Yeah, yeah, I'd be your reading club teacher. Yeah, because we jumped the gun on the reading club a little bit. And I'm jumping the gun on this picture. I'm not even like telling anybody anything about it. Because, I don't know, only because... Oh, I got inspired by Stella's octopus down here. Right there. So I decided I'm going to make an octopus as well. Yeah, that was bright, huh? So, and then I was... <laughs> so I'm making an octopus... And he's going to be playing the bagpipes. Yeah. You're, what are you going to go up and look for? Oh, okay. I'm because I'm doing an octopus. We went to Scotland a couple years ago, like two years ago, almost exactly. And uh, we really enjoyed that. I got bought myself a kilt, even though I'm not of any Scottish heritage. I quite enjoyed that, and we had lots of fun with our friends Sally and Mickey and their kids. And the girls had fun hanging out with them and doing Scotland things. And, oh, and anyway, so, so I'm making this as a bagpipe playing octopus on a unicycle for my good friend, the Unipiper, who I met when we were on the gong show together on ABC a couple of years ago. I was on there as my Uncle Clutch character playing the ukulele. And he is a pretty well-known character out in the Portland area who I was unaware of until I met him. And then I came back and I said, oh, yeah, I hung out with this guy named the Unipiper. And he, and he rides a unicycle and plays the bagpipes. And then I had a friend go, what? You met the Unipiper? And I was like, yeah, he's a cool guy. And he's like, oh, my gosh. And I was like, I didn't know him, but he's a cool guy. So anyway, he's a super cool, weird guy that does a lot of fun stuff. And I thought I would make a character after him. So uh, I'm just going to keep sketching this in a little bit. I sort of got the groundwork laid, and then we will jump back. I'm going to make him cruising through the city here a little bit on his unicycle while playing the bagpipes. i got to figure out where all these eight legs are going to go. All right. Yes, Stella? All right. We'll be back. Okay. I kind of I hope you don't mind that I jumped ahead and just kind of sketched this in because I was like, ah, you probably don't want to sit here and make me go, hmm, what should I put in this background? la de do. Maybe you do. I doubt it. These videos are long enough as it is. So I sketched this in. I gave it sort of a, not a tr just a Darth Vader-esque type helmet. Which I realize now two days in a row I made a Darth Vader reference, which is, you know, because I, or a Star Wars reference, because I brought in this little guy the other day. And now today, uh, this little uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, yeah. I think I've had that since I was a kid and I, Found it re just recently in a little box, a shoe box of some random stuff. Because my parents have been having me ever so slowly clearing out all the toys out of the attic. And my mom was good about saving all that good stuff. And I like, I like to collect all these little toys because they don't take up a lot of space. It's a nice collection to have of just little tiny things like that. They don't require you to keep a whole lot of storage because I don't have that much storage in my house. So that is kind of a perfect thing. What do you guys like to collect? What do you collect, Stella? Are you collecting anything right now? I collect rocks. Oh yeah, that's right. We like to go to the Beaver Bay agate shop. I collected a whole bunch of rocks. We went there the other day for Lola's birthday. Uh, like a week and a half Last ago. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they even gave Lola a rock for free since it was her birthday. Yeah, which was pretty rad of them. I got a um I got a 
I got I got a You got a fossil. Yeah. I was trying to think of what you got too. It took me a minute. And oh oh you know what I bought? I got it right here. I might as well show you. This is gonna be like the longest video ever. I bought this skull because I never buy anything for myself at the shop, but I decided I wanted this. It's kind of cool how the light reflects on it. Yeah, it's a rainbow. Yeah, I know. So I bought that for myself at the rock shop. I made four of these already. You made four. Oh, you're making. What are you making? I'm gonna cover them with string, like make them a weird design mm -hmm. on str with string on it. The popsicle sticks. Uh huh. On the popsicle sticks, and then I'll show up doing that. Mmm. Wait, what time is it? Oh, I don't know. It's almost lunchtime. Oh, when I'm drying this. I don't know. What do you want for lunch? What should I have for lunch? I don't know. We'll have to go see what we got. Pizza? We had pizza yesterday for lunch. <laughs> salami sandwich. Ew, we don't even have salami. As Papa would say. Mm hmm. That sounds good to me. Alright. You don't even like peanut butter pickles on your sandwich. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. Then why are you always like. I'm the one that gave the suggestion. You're like. You're always like a peanut butter pickle sandwich? Anyway, back to this guy. So, uh, yeah, so I'm making, so this is a, uh, octopus after the unipiper inspired, but I can't, but I'm gonna call him the octopiper. Because he's got eight legs, right? But then he had to try to figure out what to do with all these eight legs. So I was like, all right, well, he can hold a flag in one leg. I decided to do a call back here to the, uh, to the baguette shop and make him holding a baguette from the uh, Le Crotty Chop baguette shop. So he's doing that one, if you haven't seen that video. Um, and then, yeah, he's going to be holding on to the other part of this bagpipe down here. Let's go like that. This may not be a totally accurate bagpipe because I really don't know that much about bagpipes, to be honest. I haven't played one. And then I'll just throw that in like just slide at, as we say. Draw that in just slide at. And in the background, oh, in the background, I decided to toss in the movie theater. Oh, okay. For the movie theater. And I saw so I kind of drew in this marquee. Mm, let me just draw this guy real quick first. I decided to come up with another scooter design. And this one's going to be more like a like a Cushman scooter. This kind of boxy design. For any scooter aficionados. But then I'll also give it that little... Remember everybody had that classic squirt gun that was kind of boxy? Like that? With that little thing on the side? I don't know. I'll throw that in and I'm just gonna make I just was gonna make somebody specific on the scooter but I'm just making some sort of random dude and he's gonna be wearing a helmet and got some string a whole thing of string a whole thing a string yeah and it's not and he's just cruising along just blowing bubbles out the back as he zips along on his scooter. Wait, we need to draw it. I forgot to. They're almost there. starting when they aren't dried yet. Yeah? yeah. Alright. Well, that's bad. I decided to make this classic marquee. I was really torn. That's why I had to pause this. I wanted to look up some old classic movie marquees, movie theater marquees. We have a couple in the theater. The West Theater, which I love. I went and saw... Nosferatu at it this year and Wait, is it that the one that we went to go see Frozen 2? Yep, that's the one where you saw Frozen 2. Wait, they had like trash like they couldn't get the like, cards and stuff. Oh, they're having trouble with their system that yeah. day. Yeah, they had that trouble when I was there just about that same time when I went to go see Nosferatu and Metropolis. Frozen 2 was good. Yeah. What do you? What would you like better, Frozen Two or Nosferatu? Do you think? What is that? Nosferatu. Yeah. Klaatu I don't know. It's about a vampire. I rather want to watch Frozen Two. Oh, you think so? Yes. All right. I do. So, oh, we also named this theater 
Well, I asked Mike the Moth what he wants the name of his theater to be. Where's Mike the Moth? And he wants to call it the Bijou Theater. Where's Mike the Moth? Um, he's over there somewhere. Over where? So, you know, I'll show you in a minute when I just get ready to paint this on in. So Mike the Moth is just heading into work for the day over here. He's walking in, getting ready to start it up for the first showing. So it's still fairly early in the morning. The Octopiper is already getting down to it. He's already scooting around town. And just make the theater. And do to do, do to do, and do to do. I decided to give this building a little more interesting shape. Put these little bumpity boos in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A couple windows. You know, maybe we should, we should say Mike. Maybe Mike just lives in the theater. There's like probably like an old apartment upstairs. Yeah. And that way, when he gets up in the morning, so you know, so he's not coming to work for the day. He just stepped out to get a bagel. And I'm gonna do a little tiny lizard wizard down here. Just you know, just kind of scratched him like that. And then over here is Ninjas is on this side of the marquee. I'm say because we're just all about that movie right now. The whole island is just wizard lizard obsessed because as they, they should be because they have a lot of lizards all the kids are dressing up and all right i'll finish sketching this in and then we'll just do turbo painting jump ahead here we go And kaboom, there's the Octopiper zipping along down Main Street here. I put the uh, the movie theater back here, the Bijou Theater. There's a, kind of the dude zipping by. So there's a lot going on in this one, so it took a little longer. And I was looking around to see if I had it. I forgot what toy of the day. And I was looking to see if I had anything octopus related. And all I have is this little takoyaki man. Well, of course, still there's octopus down there. But I got this little guy here. And it was a gift in Japan of a, I don't know what this little stick is. Um, I also can't read this because it's mostly in Chinese, except for Chinese kanji used in Japanese, except for this tako. Tako is Japanese for octopus, for takoyaki, a fried octopus ball, like a little Japanese treat with a little octopus on top of his head. So I made I made takoyaki last week while we're sitting around the house. Here are the instructions for making takoyaki, where you're supposed to actually slice up octopus and put it in the little takoyaki balls, but I didn't have octopus, so I used ham and cheese, so um, I was kind of cheating a little bit, but I just didn't have these supplies. I had a little cooker, so that is that. And look at how happy this guy is, because this this octopus is about to eat a takoyaki. He is about to eat, oh my gosh, all right, let's not even think about that. All right, so here is my friend, you know, uh, the octopiper, uh, in honor of my good friend, uh, the Unipiper out there. You probably know him. You've definitely seen a GIF or something of him at some point playing the bagpipes on a unicycle. If not, Google it. Just put it in your GIFs and you'll find him out there. So thank you, my friend. I hope you're doing well. And I'll see everyone else tomorrow. Bye.